Mexican President Felipe Calderón has accused Arizona of opening the door, quote, to intolerance, hate, discrimination and abuse in law enforcement, end quote. But Arizona has nothing on Mexico when it comes to cracking down on illegal aliens. While open borders activists decry new enforcement measures signed into law in, quote, Nazi Zona, end quote, last week, they remain deaf, dumb, or willfully blind to the unapologetically restrictionist policies of our neighbors to the south. The Arizona law bans sanctuary cities that refuse to enforce immigration laws, stiffens penalties against illegal alien day laborers and their employers, makes it a misdemeanor for immigrants to fail to complete and carry an alien registration document, and allows the police to arrest immigrants unable to show documents proving they are in the U.S. legally. If those rules constitute the racist, fascist, xenophobic, inhumane regime that the National Council of La Raza, Al Sharpton, Catholic bishops, and their grievance-mongering followers claim, then what about these regulations and restrictions imposed on foreigners? 1. The Mexican government will bar foreigners if they upset, quote, the equilibrium of the national demographics, end quote. How's that for racial and ethnic profiling? 2. If outsiders do not enhance the country's, quote, economic or national interests, or are not found to be physically or mentally healthy, end quote, they are not welcome. Neither are those who show, quote, contempt against national sovereignty or security, end quote. They must not be economic burdens on society, and must have clean criminal histories. Those seeking to obtain Mexican citizenship must show a birth certificate, provide a bank statement proving economic independence, pass an exam, and prove they can provide their own health care. 3. Illegal entry into the country is equivalent to a felony punishable by two years' imprisonment. Document fraud is subject to fine and imprisonment. So is alien marriage fraud. Evading deportation is a serious crime. Illegal re-entry after deportation is punishable by 10 years' imprisonment. Foreigners may be kicked out of the country without due process, and the endless bites at the litigation apple that illegal aliens are afforded in our country, see, for example, President Obama's illegal alien aunt, a fugitive from deportation for eight years who is awaiting a second decision on her previously rejected asylum claim. 4. Law enforcement officials at all levels, by national mandate, must cooperate to enforce immigration laws, including illegal alien arrests and deportations. The Mexican military is also required to assist in immigration enforcement operations. Native-born Mexicans are empowered to make citizens arrest of illegal aliens and turn them into authorities. 5. Ready to show your papers? Mexico's National Catalog of Foreigners tracks all outside tourists and foreign nationals. A national population registry tracks and verifies the identity of every member of the population who must carry a citizen's identity card. Visitors who do not possess proper documents and identification are subject to arrest as illegal aliens. All of these provisions are enshrined in Mexico's Ley General de Población, General Law of the Population, and were spotlighted in a 2006 research paper published by the Washington, D.C.-based Center for Security Policy. There's been no public clamor for, quote, comprehensive immigration reform, end quote, in Mexico, however, because pro-illegal alien speech by outsiders is prohibited. Consider. Open Borders protesters marched freely at the Capitol building in Arizona, comparing GOP Governor Jan Brewer to Hitler, waving Mexican flags, advocating that demonstrators, quote, smash the state, end quote, and holding signs that proclaimed, quote, no human is illegal, end quote, end quote, we have rights, end quote. But under the Mexican Constitution, such political speech by foreigners is banned. Non-citizens cannot, quote, in any way participate in the political affairs of the country, end quote. In fact, a plethora of Mexican statutes enacted by its Congress limit the participation of foreign nationals and companies in everything from investment, education, mining, and civil aviation to electric energy and firearms. Foreigners have severely limited private property and employment rights, if any. As for abuse, the Mexican government is notorious for its abuse of Central American illegal aliens who attempt to violate Mexico's southern border. The Red Cross has protested rampant Mexican police corruption, intimidation and bribery schemes targeting illegal aliens there for years. Mexico didn't respond by granting mass amnesty to illegal aliens, as it is demanding that we do. 
it clamped down on its borders even further. In late 2008, the Mexican government launched an aggressive deportation plan to curtail illegal Cuban immigration and human trafficking through Cancun. Meanwhile, Mexican consular offices in the United States have coordinated with left-wing social justice groups and the Catholic Church leadership to demand a moratorium on all deportations and a freeze on all employment raids across America. Mexico is doing the job Arizona is now doing, a job the U.S. government has failed miserably to do, putting its people first. Here's the proper rejoinder to all the hysterical demagogues in Mexico and their sympathizers here on American soil, now calling for boycotts and invoking Jim Crow laws, apartheid, and the Holocaust because Arizona has taken its sovereignty into its own hands. Hippocrates.